Okay, we're restoring the uh, Kenmore. You can get the model number right down here on the uh, underside. You can see the model. That's where they keep the uh, model number and the serial number. Uh, I lucked out. This took a good scrubbing inside and out. Um, next, I'll take off stuff like this, polish it. I've already started on the screws. Um, I have to pull all this stuff off, polish this kind of stuff. I really like just the machinery aspect of the sewing machines, uh, these older ones. This is a beautiful Kenmore machine. So uh, I used, to clean it, I actually used some of this Purple Power and that stuff works great. So now we're getting ready to do the cabinet. The cabinet's pretty bad off. Uh, this part actually looks good right here, but there's some deep gouges in here. And the uh, problem with a lot of these is, you can see that this is an overlay on here, so it's going to have the gouges, because you can see that's just dented in, but on some of these you'll actually see the grain go in the opposite direction, almost like a plywood. So what we're going to do... We are going to sand it all, just to make it all smooth and stuff, and you won't notice gouges. It'll look more like indents in them, instead of deep gouges with a different discoloration. We're going to remove the hinges, leave all those exactly the way they are. Uh, hinges are beautiful. We'll clean out the inside. This opens up. We'll wipe all this down, get it all cleaned up, adjust the hinges, and we'll get started. So I guess we can call uh, the machine part one, and this will be part two, the cabinet. So we're going to redo the whole thing. If I have to disassemble the cabinet, so be it. Sometimes you have to. Uh, let's look under here real quick before... Yeah, I can't see if... Uh... You know, it's not bolted together, so uh, I don't want to have to disassemble it, but we'll get started. <laughs> 